Jesus loves us and he wants us to seek him and he wants us to draw near to him. In James chapter four, this is what it says in verse eight, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. And in Jeremiah 29, it says, you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. We have a God who wants to spend time with us. So today I'm gonna share with you my structure for spending time with God. A few videos ago, I shared with you how I spend time with God and it's it's nice, it was loose and I was it was still, you could tell from watching the video, it wasn't really very tight. I was still refining it. I've refined it and I think this is a good structure and you can tell me what, what you think. So my structure is called PREP, P-R-E-P. -E I am a morning person. I love doing my devotionals in the morning. And so if you could think of it this way, it's a great way to prep for the day, P-R-E-P. -E get it? <laughs> prep for the day, get it? That's cheesy. Anyway, I know it's cheesy, but I think that'll stick to your brain, P-R-E-P. -E so let me go over what P-R-E-P -E stands for. P stands for pray. What am I praying? I'm praying what I call the present moment. Before anything happens, before I open the Bible, I pause and I pray. And I record what I call the present moment. In order for me to be present to God, I need to write down the things that are presently going on in my mind and in my heart. In the present moment, what is cluttering my heart in my mind. So that could be anxieties, that could be worries, that could be things that I'm happy about, things that I'm excited about. When I hit the pause button or when I pray the present moment, I just write down two things, three things, or however many things that's in my mind right now or at that moment, and I just write it down. So if I'm struggling with something that somebody said to me, I'll write struggling with what this person said. Or if I'm anxious about something, I'll say, anxious about a meeting. Or if I have a worry, I'll say, or I'll write in my notebook, worried about whatever. But you get what I mean, right? When we pray the present moment, you're just listing out the things that's going on in your heart. So you just lay that down. So that's P. R stands for read. I just write down what I'm gonna read for that morning. If I'm going through a devotional, or if I'm going through a Bible reading plan, I just write the text that I'm supposed to read for that day. E stands for engage. This is where you will engage with the text. So you're not just reading, but you're trying to understand how the passage relates to you and how it speaks into your life or how God is using that passage to speak into your life. So let me pause here for a second. I primarily think that when we spend time with God, it is to hear from God. It's not about us. God is still at the center of it. What I'm doing with engaging with a text or engaging with the scriptures is I want to open up the scriptures and invite God into that passage so that he could say to me the things that he wants to say. If he wants to shape my character through that text, I leave that open. If he wants to talk about a sin that maybe I need to let go of, I leave that passage open. So I let him speak into the text that I just read. The final letter is P and that's when I close out my time in prayer. And it's more of a reflective, quiet time with God where I'm thinking about what God may have just said to me that morning. Now in subsequent videos, I'm gonna share with you more about the details of prep. But for now, just really quickly, I wanna give you a basic structure. P-R-E-P, -E pray the present moment, read the text, engage with the text, and then pray. All right, everybody, that's it. I hope you have a great day and uh, keep spending time with God.